What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here and welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And as you can see by title today's video, I'm talking about or actually listing relaxing mangas that I suggest people to read. And so my definition of relaxing is any manga that wasn't super angsty, really was just an enjoyable read and really just helped me to take my mind off of whatever was going on and was just a fun read overall. Now this was actually kind of difficult for me because I of course love my shoujo manga so of course that means a lot of shoujo manga has a lot of dramatic moments in it and a lot of moments where I'm just like why did that even happen? So this took me a little bit of time to come up with a few different mangas that I realized were actually pretty enjoyable to read and were kind of light on the whole angst and dramatic situations. So I only was able to come up with about four mangas and I will probably do a part two to this at some point but no guarantees. And the inspiration for me coming out with this video is based off of an article that I actually found where they were actually listing 10 relaxing animes. So I also do plan to do a video topic about that but I want to start off with manga first because I realized that manga for me was going to be a little bit more difficult and I know that a lot of people really like relaxing at the end of the day with a manga or a book so I figured why not talk about a few manga that I found to actually be pretty relaxing that I enjoyed reading at the end of a long day or at the start of a pretty lazy weekend. So like I said, I have four of them in total that I plan to list. So um, let's get started. So the first one I have is actually called Azumanga Daio, which I actually did a review about a few years back. And the reason why this is such a relaxing manga for me is because no story in here is like in conjunction with the first one. It kind of makes me feel like those old school comic strips that you used to read in the newspaper or like Garfield comic strips. And it's just a really comedic read. It's basically about a group of girls who are all in the same class and the havoc that they basically go through or that happens while they're in their class or outside of class and it's just extremely extremely funny. I really enjoyed reading this and I just enjoyed it overall. It had a lot of laugh out loud moments for me and it just really helped put me at ease which is why I said I found this read to be so relaxing. So yeah definitely recommend reading Azumanga Daio if you haven't already. You definitely won't regret it and you'll enjoy just laughing along to these stories about these girls and the havoc and the comedic things that they go through in their pretty much everyday lives. The next one I have is Cheese Sweet Home. So this one is just a cute little story about a cat that ends up getting adopted and basically it's this cat's day-to-day -day life with its family. There are some moments that can be kind of angsty but to me it was nothing super detrimental or super big to the point where you're like oh my god what's gonna happen next. It was just some cute little things that would happen with this cute it's adorable little kitten and her family and that was pretty much it. Like I said I found this to be pretty relaxing. It's about four volumes long. This is the first one that I have and it is just enjoyable really sweet and extremely extremely cute so i definitely recommend reading it yes there is an anime that goes with this as well there is also an anime that goes with azumanga daio as well but yeah it was just really sweet it just felt when i was reading it it just felt like it just felt like a manga where i didn't have to worry about anything anymore and i also didn't have to i guess is a weird way of putting it super pay attention to what i was reading because of the simple fact that it was just about a kitten and this kitten's everyday life as it was discovering everything new within its surroundings and making new friends and just meeting new people and yeah there were some moments that were scary for the kitten but for us as you know humans we don't find them to be scary but it was comedic and funny to see a kitten seeing these things for the very first time and as someone who has now currently two cats it's a lot of fun when you see them discovering new things that once again you as a human don't find scary or frightening or interesting but they do so yeah this was definitely a very enjoyable read and it definitely you know got me through a time honestly that I think that I was kind of going through a lot and it just helped me take my mind off everything so this was definitely a relaxing read and it felt nice to read this and not have to like go through a lot of dramatic moments <laughs> so yeah I definitely recommend reading Cheese Sweet Home. 
So the next manga I have is actually a digital read that I actually read pretty recently and that I actually did a little mini review on before and that is My Boy in Blue. Basically it's about a girl that goes to a mixer at the coercion of her friend because her friend's older sister needed two other girls that had bailed out and she goes to this mixer and the guys there are a little bit older than her. They're kind of like college age and she meets a guy there who is a police officer and basically they kind of hit it off and then he finds out her actual age and by then he's like i want nothing to do with you but she at that point has kind of fallen for him and she finds him extremely cute and she kind of wants to date him so she kind of finds out well she actually already knows where he pretty much works and he kind of couldn't stay away from her so with the you know approval of her parents they end up dating and it's kind of just a cute little romance story of them as she's going through high school and navigating that and him with his job yes there are moments in here that are extremely dramatic and moments that can be kind of angsty but to me i found it relaxing just because the angsty and the dramatic moments didn't last super long granted they were there for a little period of time but they were resolved in a way where it didn't leave you hanging with what was going to happen next i guess and it like i said they didn't last extremely long there were moments where there were boys that came in or just one boy in particular that kind of came in and was kind of like maybe could have been some sort of competition but it wasn't anything super like i said dramatic like most of us know a lot of shoujo mangas to be so i definitely recommend reading it if you do want a little bit of a relaxing read but also has a little bit more to it so that it has like this kind of a little bit of a dramatic plot of what's going to happen next but overall it's not to the point where you're like screaming at these characters and what are they doing so yeah definitely recommend reading my boy in blue i actually read it on comiXology which is where they have all the volumes available so definitely check it out if you haven't already so the last and final manga i have is actually once again a physical one and that is sweat and soap so i know a lot of people are gonna be like why is sweat and soap on here because sweat and soap is once again a shoujo and yes shoujos can be dramatic but this one i had to put on here as a relaxing read because for me it was a read that was very i hate to use this word but refreshing it was different and it's because the characters in here are so much older so I'm like most of us who read shoujo or who have read shoujo a lot of shoujos take place where the characters are in high school or maybe early college. But this is one where the characters are actually adults. So basically these two characters work at the same place together. And the male character has a very interesting, I guess, talent of his and his talent is with sense. So he becomes very attracted to this girl here on the cover because of her scent and her smell. They end up getting to know each other a little bit more and they ultimately end up dating. And so the best thing about this is that there's not a whole lot of dramatic moments in here. There's kind of hints at it, like there was a girl that kind of had a crush on the guy at a period of time. But overall, it really reminded me of any adult relationship that so many of us go through. It did didn't have all those super dramatic moments like I said happens in so many of the high school romances it was a very adult romance and you see them go through each stage of their relationship meeting the parents moving in together making those kinds of decisions little arguments that they go through as far as like when they kind of start living together and how it is bringing a new person into your space or looking for an apartment or looking for a place together and seeing the little tips the little tricks that some of these places kind of pull on you you know this was that this is what this kind of manga is which is why i said it is such a relaxing read because for me it reminded me of like my current relationship and just how adult this relationship really is and kind of the trials and tribulations that they kind of go through but once again not in that angsty way that so many high school romances go through that are so overly dramatic that when you look back on them when you're an adult you're kind of like why did i even do that like there was such a different way of handling it and because in this way that they handle a lot of their issues that they have with each other by communicating to one another which is kind of like what you should actually do in a relationship it was a great thing to read and it was a great way to just relax on the beginning of a lazy weekend or a lazy sunday or after you're off of work and to read something like this and not feel hecka angsty about like what's gonna happen next now granted there were there is like where i do kind of feel like what's gonna happen next but only because i'm super excited to read the next volume as of right now they're up to about volume six i own volumes one through four four i believe by physical copies and the other two i actually own via digital copy so yeah 
definitely recommend reading Sweat and Soap. It is a little bit more of a like not adult manga but a more mature teen manga. It is rated as ages 16 and up so if you are not yet of age 16 or older I probably wouldn't recommend reading this only because of the fact it does have some material in it that is a little bit more adult. But yeah that's about that's it yeah Sweat and Soap. Definitely recommend reading it if you want to relax and read. That is the mangas that I have. Like I said I didn't have a lot. I only had four. Let me know if you guys would like a part two to this as I continue to read more and more manga and recommend to me more and more manga that you would like me to read. I am still planning on doing that whole like what's the best shoujo manga bracket kind of a thing. I'm just trying to work some things out with that as far as like when to actually start reading all these mangas and still trying to put together the list. But yes, that is the video that I have for you guys today. Of course, I have links below to all my social media accounts. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, and also a TikTok where I post a lot of like little short mini reviews or, you know, mini manga reviews, mini anime reviews as well. I haven't posted one in like a few weeks now, but I do plan to post another one soon because there are two mangas at this point that I have currently finished and an anime that I'm about to finish. So I'll have a little bit more material to actually post. And then, of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And like I always tell you guys, stay positive, stay nerdy, and today's day and age, stay healthy. And of course, please stay safe. All right, you guys. Bye. <laughs>